Good morning, everyone. It is Tuesday, April 16th, 2024. And we got the Dow of half a percent with the NASDAQ and S&P pretty flat. So I know the Dow's been really getting... I think I saw yesterday was a sixth red day in a row. So trying to get something back there today. Morning, El Piero. Morning, Sesha. VIX down 3%. Good morning, Chris. Let's see what's on the economic calendar here. And yeah, Jerome Powell speaking at 115 looks like really about it that may have some effect. That's probably, I'm guessing, 12, 15 central. As far as stocks go. Tesla down, geez, Tesla down some more, a little under 3%. AMD up over 1%. NVIDIA up half a percent. DKNG up a percent. Square down 1%. A lot of stocks are flat. And there is the bell. Good morning, Ken. NASDAQ starts in the red. We'll have to see if the VIX spikes up here to start. There's some strong earnings, I guess, I think with banks that have caused the Dow to spike up. VIX opens up at 18.94, so... Still pretty high. SPX. Expected move. Thirty eight points.
NASDAQ and S&P have gone green. Now things have gone back into the red. Meta pushing up. That's the pushing down. Uh, no ricks for me. Nope. The X. All right, I'm getting our second bar. Let's see if we can get any volume runners. Uh, John K. Yeah, I mean, my for my one DT when I see price kind of settle down a little bit. I know in Steve's plan, he puts it on like right away. And yeah, I think he uses the $7 strikes. But I just tend to do it wide like a one of my TLC trades. Also kind of, you know, I watch the VIX. If, if the VIX is looks like it's, you know, not going to spike anymore. Yeah, I don't. I don't like putting it on if if the VIX is getting crushed. You know, because then if it turns around, spikes, then that takes away your profits, and so kind of a combination of price movement and what what the VIX is doing. Yeah, no, I'm just saying in general what Steve's is. It's different than what I do. Uh, yeah, possibly. We got Roku having a growing bar. Could potentially be a downside volume runner with the C. We've got it's over halfway with halfway to go. So A lot of red coming in now. Let's 
So we got Roku here. We'll see if it can get there. Vic spiking up. Yeah, Tesla's got a shot. It has to get going. There's only a minute left. Roku kind of the same. We trade the um let's see. Was it three days to expiration today? Three DTE. Yeah, I have toss I have toss on my screen. They're both getting close. Not quite there yet. Can it push up? Didn't quite get there. Yeah, I would not consider either one of those. Although they are close. So let's take a look for some mighty 90s here. So we'll look for a bar that is bigger than the previous in the same direction. S&P and NASDAQ still in the red. VIX only down a third of a percent now.
Netflix, potential Mighty 90 maybe forming. So I want to see Netflix push up. Got to see it push up. Twenty-five us contract. Not not sure what you're saying there, El Piero. So Netflix did get a bar bigger than the previous, but it's not. It's already pulled back. So that wouldn't qualify. We'll see if it pushes back up through highs. Oh, one contract. Yeah, this is probably, it's probably been a while since I've traded with this high of volatility, these strategies. NASDAQ coming down to lows of day. Coinbase, I missed that, had a downside volume runner. Didn't pop up too much, but a little bit. I am going base. VIX is really a popping up. Okay, Coinbase is. Let's take a look at Coinbase. You're running a little slow today. When base bounces a little bit here. Yeah, this that bar definitely made it. That third bar. wasn't quick enough to get in. Was not quick enough to get in. Yeah, that's what I, that's what I said, Chris. Downside volume runner. Uh, John K. Because I didn't I didn't say it didn't qualify. What I said was 
you you don't want to get in when it's pulled back already. I mean, that would be when you enter, you want to enter with it up here. So by the time it qual, by the time the second bar got or the third bar got bigger than the second, it had already come down. So that's not an entry. Like you don't want to enter there. You want it to push up, then enter at its peak if you're getting short. So it had already pulled back. So there's it's a no enter. I see Coinbase pop up here just a little bit more. Now, if Netflix pushes back up, gives us another opportunity to enter for a mighty 90, then we can. Yeah, Coinbase definitely owns <coughs> downside volume runner. Need, need a bounce. So if Coinbase pops up closer to that pivot, my enter. Wow, certainly are elevated. <laughs> See Coinbase, I would trade the 210 puts. Try to get filled here, filled at eight bucks. You probably get a better. You probably will get a better fill than I got. Definitely can get a better fill than I got. <clears throat> Man, I would love to get just a nice, calm price action day. I close half my Coinbase at eight eighty.
let's see what else. Not seeing anything else at the moment. Netflix up over uh, Netflix one and a third. Roku. No, not a volume runner. Doesn't have a bar bigger than the first. Roku, that is. It was close right out of the gate. So need Coinbase to roll over here. That's what you want to see in a volume runner. You want to see a little bounce and then a rollover. Don't know what it's going to be today. Love to see a choppy day. Probably should have tried to enter Coinbase about right where it's at now. Uh, I, yeah, I use 10%. I got filled at eight bucks. So 10% of that is 80 cents, which is 880. That's exactly 10%. I wish I was filled at 710. Actually, it would be actually I could add if it gets to seven ten seven twenty. I would add to it probably. If it gets about ten percent down, then I would add to it, and then close half. Um, when it hits my first fill, I wouldn't add to it if it like if it like blows through that where this big bar is. Then I would just close it. See, right now it's in a spot where I, I need to decide, do I add or do I just close it? Things are really pushing up. Wow. Something got strong all of a sudden. So I'm going to add to Coinbase. How much time we got left? Let's take a little bit of time here. Well, it hasn't it hasn't met my criteria for closing it, and because I position size appropriately, I mean I'm, I'm okay taking the loss. So, but before I add though, I'm gonna see what it does here. Yeah, everything looks like it's getting strong for one reason or another. That's why, you know, maybe I should have just waited for a better fill. Sometimes you jump in and you're aggressive 
and it, and it works out. Sometimes it doesn't. All right, closing it. Try to see if we can get a little pullback here. at 590 to close so it was a failed volume runner but i i go in i, I get in in position size to add which honestly i could have still added because the first big volume bar was this one right here, the third one. So I, I essentially, technically, the, the getting out would be up here, but that would just be giving it too too much away. But technically, could still get in for a downside volume runner here. But I only did two contracts because I was going to add to it, add two more. But it pushed up just. I would have probably wanted to add at that pivot and then I just went through it. So a loss that I can handle based on position sizing. What else we got shaking today? NASDAQ has gone green. S&P is still red. Ooh, Meta has a mighty 90. Nice looking mighty 90. Meta. I would trade the 50 502.5. Oh, puts. Build at six eighty five. It's the five o two point five puts. Mighty ninety. Um, TLC has it done two moves yet. Um, typically not by nine, but. Let me see where I haven't, I haven't even looked at it. Let's see here. Um, yeah, I, I see what you're saying. I guess push down a little bit and then it's like it's pushed back up. Yeah, so now I would look for consolidation, you know, in the, over the next 15, 20 minutes. Is it going to consolidate? Oh yeah, and for um I gotta get an order in for meta. I would get out of half my meta at am I struggling to do the math in my head here? Seven fifty five, I would get out of half. <laughs> Yeah, Coinbase coming back down, I figured. I was real tempted to add to Coinbase. Really tempted.
I think if I would have got a better fill out of, you know, I think I would have stayed in Coinbase a little bit longer. But when you don't get good fills and then you get a push like that, you know, it really sets you back. Meta pushing up. Close to where I got in. Yeah, the only thing about uh, Coinbase, though, like technically that third bar is as big as the first. So technically the the rules would be to get out above where price is for that third bar. That's kind of what I'm talking about. Because that was the first time it, it initiated a volume runner signal. Well, if I would have gotten a better fill, it wouldn't have been. That's what I'm saying. I would have I would have probably let it go a little longer because it wouldn't have been a big loss, especially with position sizing. But because I was aggressive and got in, you know, it just was, like you said, too much. Still hasn't really rolled over yet, and, you know. With a volume runner, I mean, you want to, you want the bounce and then the rollover. So anyway, price action really isn't acting like you want a volume runner to act. So we're looking for two red bars in a row out of Meta. Um, who was it? John K. So you can see the difference between Netflix and Meta when you had that question about Mighty 90s. Like I got in right at the top here. Whereas um, in Netflix, it had already come down. Not sure what's in meta today, but that's hasn't given four straight green bars. <laughs> right, exactly, John. Yeah, NVIDIA up one and three quarters, Netflix up one and two thirds, Meta up three quarters, Microsoft three quarters. VIX down about a third of a percent. Still no red bar out of Meta. It's sitting right out where I got in. I hope we don't see a big VIX crush today. Man, I, I like those afternoon trades when it you start I mean you start booking profits quick after one o'clock central. With faded decay.
pretty tight range out of Roku. It's showing signs of a mighty 90. But man, it's just a really tight range. Tesla's showing some signs of a mighty 90. It also has very tight range. <laughs> Meta pushing up. It's gonna apparently it wants me to add to it. So around the six dollars to six fifteen would be where I would add to it. Yeah, Roku and Tesla with mighty nineties, but man, that's just no price movement. Yeah, so S SPX hasn't really broken out one way or the other. It's pretty much sitting about right where it opened. I would probably still wait for a TLC to see if it's going to break out here over the next 15, 20 minutes, one way or the other. I mean, its range, too, has been fairly small. Yeah, and that's that's so tempting with those wide, wide. Ranges you can get. All right, meta coming down here. So if Tesla, you know, pushes up and breaks out. My, you know, it, it could be a good mighty 90 short. Hundred and ten wide for zero DT for zero DTE. Oh wow. I didn't know that. Good lord. Build at seven fifty five. Close half my meta. Very nice, very nice. It Tesla's pushing up. See, Tesla, I would trade the one fifty seven point five puts. See if I can get filled at three ninety. Push up, push up, push up. Try to get filled here. Filled at four bucks. I would close half of my Tesla at, eh, let's just do 450. Roku is kind of like Tesla too. If you wanted to, for a mighty 90, they look almost the same. So Meta, I thought was going to give us a nice red bar, but
don't look that way. Ah, I would have gotten filled at 390, darn it. In Tesla. Once again, you can get a better fill than me. Out of half a meta El Piero, how'd you do that so quick? It gets close to 350, 360, I would add to it. Come on, let's add to it. Let's go. S&P trying to break out. That's what I was talking about. We got one red bar out of Meta. Filled at 370 to add to Tesla. I just wanted to add to it. I was going to wait for 360, but... Once again, I would have gotten filled at 360. <laughs> Price action not really going my way today. So I would close half of my Tesla at So if Meta gives me a second red bar, I would close it. It appears Meta is going to cooperate with that mighty 90. Got two minutes left. I'm going to go ahead and get out of my Meta. Not give it a chance to pop back up. Build at 770. Close my meta. It's got two red bars. Didn't want it to pop back up. May still come down. I could have got a better out, but that's okay. Didn't want to risk it. So nice, mighty 90 in meta there. Now, if we can get two bars from old Mr. Tesla. See how Meta's popping back up a little bit? 
That is why I got out. Man, Netflix going through highs of day. That is interesting. I definitely don't want Tesla to go through highs of day. I need some, I need two red bars. I've already added to it. That is no bueno. No bueno. No bueno, Tesla. I suppose, you know, it's been a week for so long. I suppose at some point it needs to gain something back. See, Roku had another mighty 90 coming down. That is still coming back down. Well, one good push down here. Let me hear the chime. Let me hear the chime. Filled at 410 to close half. So very good ad in Tesla. And I would get out of another Tesla at 450. All right, so it's getting close to 9.30. I need to probably start looking for TLC. Check that out. So let me do that here. I'm not going to put on any more Mighty 90s or Runners. Oh, I got somebody in the in the, in the Zoom chat. CV, uh, Y. If your name is Y, use the Discord chat, not the Zoom chat. I don't monitor the Zoom chat. We want to use the day trading chat channel. All right. So... I've got an order in at 450 to close another Tesla. I'm gonna look at some TLCs here. I 
waiting for two consecutive red bars out of Tesla. And that it really came down, didn't it? All right. So SPX hasn't really gone very, very far. I'm going to look at the 5100s, 5010s for my first iron condor. And filled at seven forty. So Tesla popping back up. So I'm going to go ahead and jump off here because I'm not going to um, do any more Mighty 90 Runners. So I will wait for two consecutive red bars out of Tesla. So I'll let you know when I am out of those. But I guess it could be here in the next minute or two if it continues down. So yeah, if this if this bar gives if it gives me another red bar, then I will close it. So and I will post my fills and see everyone during power hour. Have a good one. Peace.